let's have a look at six images from the James Webb Space Telescope that have demonstrated the staggering power of this new window to the universe. These images depict a spectacular group of galaxies known as Stefan's Quintet, a group that has long been of interest to astronomers studying the way colliding galaxies interact with one another gravitationally. On the left, we see the Hubble view, and on the right, the JWST mid-infrared view. The inset shows the power of the new telescope with a zoom-in on a small background galaxy. In the Hubble image, we see some bright star-forming regions, but only with the JWST does the full structure of this and surrounding galaxies reveal itself. The so-called Pillars of Creation is one of the most famous images in all of astronomy. Taken by Hubble in 1995, it demonstrated the extraordinary reach of a space-based telescope. It depicts a star-forming region in the Eagle Nebula, where interstellar gas and dust provide the backdrop to a stellar nursery teeming with new stars. The image taken with the JWST's near-infrared camera, NearCam, demonstrates a further advantage of infrared astronomy, the ability to peer through the shroud of dust and see what lies within and behind. This image depicts another act of galactic creation within the Milky Way. This hourglass-shaped structure is a cloud of dust and gas surrounding a star in the act of formation, a protostar called L1527. Only visible in the infrared, an accretion disk of material falling in, the black band in the center, will eventually enable the protostar to gather enough mass to start fusing hydrogen, and a new star will be born. In the meantime, light from the still-forming star illuminates the gas above and below the disk, making the hourglass shape. Our previous view of this came from Spitzer. The amount of detail is once again an enormous leap ahead. The Webb Telescope's mission includes imaging the most distant galaxies from the beginning of the universe, but it can look a little closer to home as well. Although JWST cannot look at Earth or the inner solar system planets, as it must always face away from the Sun, it can look outward at the more distant parts of our solar system. This near-infrared image of Jupiter is a beautiful example. As we gaze deep into the structure of the gas giant's clouds and storms, the glow of auroras at both the northern and southern poles is haunting. This image was extremely difficult to achieve due to the fast motion of Jupiter across the sky relative to the stars and because of its fast rotation. The success proved the Webb Telescope's ability to track difficult astronomical targets extremely well. These images of the so-called Phantom Galaxy, or M74, reveal the power of JWST not only as the latest and greatest of astronomical instruments, but as a valuable complement to other great tools. The middle panel here combines visible light from Hubble with infrared from Webb, allowing us to see how starlight via Hubble and gas and dust via JWST together shape this remarkable galaxy. Much JWST science is designed to be combined with Hubble's optical views and other imaging to leverage this principle. Although this galaxy, the small red blob in the right image, is not among the most spectacularly picturesque our universe has to offer, it is just as interesting scientifically. This snapshot is from when the universe was a mere 350 million years old, making this among the very first galaxies ever to have formed. Understanding the details of how such galaxies grow and merge to create galaxies like our own Milky Way 13 billion years later is a key question, and one with many remaining mysteries, making discoveries like this highly sought after. It's also a view only the JWST can achieve. Astronomers didn't know quite what to expect. An image of this galaxy taken with Hubble would appear blank as the light of the galaxy is stretched far into the infrared by the expansion of the universe. Don't forget to watch the video on the right and subscribe. Thanks for being part of Cosmonology.